Let's join Best Boat host George Labonte as we learn how the new microplastics filter from Suzuki Marine can help reduce plastic pollution in our waterways during this week's Marine Product Showcase. Among the many problems the ocean deals with today, fisheries, pollutions, you name it, one of the biggest and probably one that doesn't have enough light shined upon it is the issue of environmental pollution. The oceans of the world at present contain 150 million tons of plastic waste. And that number increases annually by 8 million tons. And that number is increasing by 5 to 10% each year. Now this is a problem that Suzuki Marine takes very seriously. And they've taken measures since 2010 to combat this problem. And it started with their Clean Oceans Project. I'm joined today by Gus Blakely. Gus is the Vice President of Sales for Suzuki. Gus, why don't you tell me a little bit about the microplastic filter that we're looking at right here in a Suzuki motor? Sure, George. Well, thanks for coming by and, and uh, hearing our story. So, you know, back in 2010, as you said, we started the Clean Ocean Project, which we started in Japan and we got our employees involved and they went to one of the local lakes and they cleaned up around the shoreline. Um, you know, it's always the bigger plastic you seem to pick up and it's easy to find, but those bottle caps and little things like that is important too. We realized that plastic just rubs together and it turns into littler plastic and littler plastic. That said, um, we kind of charged our engineers with coming up with a solution. And uh, so that's what you see here, right here, is we did come up with a solution. But one of the unique things about it too is while it does collect microplastic, um, it also, it doesn't take away or detract from any performance from the engine at all. You know, uh, one engine is not gonna clean all the microplastic out of the ocean, but I think what it's done for me is that it's made me realize that there's little things that I can do. Let's talk a bit about how this actually works. Now this is using the cooling water that goes through the engine. All these engines are going to intake water, go through the system to cool the motor off. As the water exits the motor, it has to pass through the element in this filter before it leaves. Yes, correct? Yeah, that's correct. And actually too, George, as you said, we pump thousands of gallons through uh, an engine all the time when they're out there running. And uh, what we've done is we've actually built a system that instead of just pumping it out like we normally would, um, we pump it through the filter and then it goes out. And we also designed a bypass system that should that filter plug up, it just bypasses and pumps out like it would have had there been no filter in there. So the consumer's never gonna have to worry about um, you know, his motor slowing down or his motor overheating because he has this filter on. It's, it's basically doing a service with, with no cost to the consumer. Is this something that the consumer can do themselves? I mean, the filter, you're accessing it by yourself, open yes. up the element, yes. dump the stuff out, and you're back in business? Actually, we've, we've designed the filter now that um, you can set the filter out, let it dry, and then take a little toothbrush or brush and just uh, brush the, the plastic out, put on a piece of paper and throw it in the normal trash like you would anything else and it's gonna get disposed of properly and put the same filter back in again. Something that really struck me, Gus, about the whole concept is that Suzuki's commitment to doing something without the bottom line being the first you know, order of preference here. This is something that's, I say altruistic, but the fact that you're willing to invest in technology just to make the environment better you know, without thinking about how how much money is it going to make us, is is really kind of a impressive thing on my you know from my perspective, and I really am happy to see you know a company as as big as Suzuki Marine taking the initiative. Well, well, thank you, George, and and we really appreciate that. And actually, it's done more than that for us. We've also already reduced our packaging and things like that, taking plastic out where we can, making sure we're using recyclable materials. And just in the last couple of years, we've reduced the amount of plastic that we use in packaging of both motors, parts, accessories by 2.3 tons already. So um, it definitely, to your point, it brings that awareness, not only to us as a company, but all of our employees and hopefully all of our customers as well. Well, you saw it here first. In 2022, we're going to start seeing these on engines, and hopefully, eventually, we'll see them on every motor. Gus, I thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, George. And thanks really for showing appreciate me the product. It. No, our pleasure. Please come by anytime.